What's going on there, fellow YouTubes? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Guys, we're going to check out a moon photo in this video. Now, any other time, I would have put this on Lunar Anomalies and Beyond, but I also had an announcement I wanted to make. So, let me get that out of the way, and then we'll jump right into the video. Okay, some of you guys lately have said, Chris, you need to be on a different platform. You suggested a few things. One of them lately, in fact, a few people have told me about this, about odyssey.com. Now, Odyssey is right here, and I'll show you it. As you can see, it pretty much looks a lot like YouTube. Now, there's a couple reasons why I did this. One, we're being shadow banned. This is not even a secret, right? Uh, they're basically squeezing channels out like us, and at some point, we don't know if they're going to completely demonetize, or they're going to basically do everything they can to squeeze your channel out. We don't know. It could not happen at all. Maybe it will. But now we got another uh, platform to be on, right? So you guys can jump on there, make a quick account, and then you can come on to my channel here, and you can hit follow right here. You can see it on the upper right inside my banner right here. It says follow. And you can support the channel. You can do anything you want here. And guys, I encourage everybody to do this because, again, if anything happens to YouTube, we have another platform. I can upload and do the stuff I normally do here on YouTube. I can even do the community thing here, which I can still do on YouTube. But this would be cool to do it on here as well. So, yeah, this way we could cover a few more bases here, be on a different platform. So I encourage everybody to jump on there. Do a quick sign up on it. It's not a big deal. Of course, it's free, just like YouTube. Uh, and then just jump on my channel and hit the follow up here. And uh, you're ready to go. I would appreciate it if everybody did that. Anyway, enough of that. Let's jump into the actual photo. Okay, so this is the photo we are checking out. This is the moon here. And what we're looking at is right here on the left hand side. This is the photo you'll get. Now, at the very top of this, you can see what looks like a monolith at the Terminator. Let's check this out. Very, very top here, guys. Get out your magnifiers. Check this thing out. Now, this is cool. Sticking right out. Now, the other thing I'm going to prove right off the bat is that this has been manipulated in a big way. I'm going to show you that in Photoshop. It's all the crazier stuff here. If we were to go down here, let's go down to right around this section right here. You can see my cursor right here on the left-hand side in the dock. Go over here to the right. We have what looks like a perfect oval, almost like a football stadium kind of thing, right here. And we're going to get a lot closer to that. We have what looks like a pipe right here running right in the ground here. I want to show you a cool little feature. And I didn't even notice this until I looked at the photo again. And I was like, whoa, what is that? In this larger crater right here, it looks like this pipe's coming down and down into the bottom. Okay. Drop down below that. We have what looks like a cutout of a crater, but there's some weird features along this wall. And don't think for a moment, guys, this is not from the sun. This is BS. This is absolute crap. All right, let's jump out of this and jump right into Photoshop because I want to show you guys these things. These are pretty cool. All right, here it is right here. Let's just zoom into this, shall we? All right, check this thing out. Although this is not very clear, and I'm going to clear this up in a moment, right there sticking right out. How tall is this thing? Look at this. First of all, we're off in the distance here. So how tall is this thing sticking up out of the surface? And there's a whole bunch of other crazy looking things like right here to the left. Almost like this giant wall type thing, right? There's some other weird features right here. Check this other one out. Perfectly oval piece right here. Right there. Check that out. Perfect oval. And I mean perfect. And if you look, you can see what looks like pieces coming out of it. Yeah. yeah. Is that natural? I'm not so sure about that. We have this here. Right? These items here. One here. One on the bottom here. And guys, have a look at this cutout right here. Is that natural? Well, this is what I'm seeing. This won't be perfect, but you'll get the idea. Looks like piece coming off here. Piece coming off here. Check this stuff out, guys. Look at the way this is on the side of this wall. And I've said this before. I believe that they're actually utilizing the moon surface. Maybe to make it look more natural. I don't know. So let's do this. Let's clear this up a little bit. Now let's jump into this a little bit more. Okay. Now. Let me, just, let me just jump back just for a second. Now, right off the bat, can you guys see this line? And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want you guys to see this raw before I do this. Right here. Check this out. Look at this line. 
Here's the actual surface of the moon right there. But why do we have this line right here? And what it does is it does this. All along this edge. Now, is this done back in the day by computer? Or was it going through in later years to block this stuff out? Now, let's go back and clear this up. Now, you can see that Terminator line a little bit better. And you can see where they've done this all along this edge. This is the real edge. And you can see the gray where they've done this all the way down. And look where it circles up at the top. Check this out. This way they can blur it out better, take it out. And you can see as it's going to the edge of it, it's doing this. Why is it doing that? Notice the difference in between this is more grayer where this is whiter. Either this was done digitally or it was cut out with an acetate type thing. And then they were able to wipe this whole area out. There's a reason why they do this stuff here, guys. All right. So we got something else that's overhanging here. Very, very slight. You can barely see it, but it's right there. And you can see the shadow it's casting right here. Okay. And again, we got something that looks like a shard or some kind of megalithic whatever standing up. Okay. Let me move over here a little bit. We have what looks like these weird parts standing up right here. I have this kind of almost squared off kind of features to them. Okay. Come down. Look at all the just a little pieces in here. Again, we have this piece right here. Looks like something we'd see from the air, like a football stadium. Perfectly oval. Okay. A little harder to see this way. You can see how blurred out that is. A little bit better there. Again, we've got this what looks like a pipe or some kind of weird thing going on. But check this out. If you were to follow this, it goes right into the darkness. And we're going to brighten this up for you guys. Goes right here. Boom. Hits this wall. But wait a minute. There's an opening right here. Is it possible either something flew in and out of there or was something to do with mining stuff to doing? Check out the bottom of this crater right here. Look at what looks like pipes right here. I can see it right here. Something going like this very faintly going this way. You guys see that? Okay. You can see one going down like this, like I said. Okay. Notice the way these are in this crater. Looks like it's going down like this and got something that's doing this here. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if that's the side of the wall or whatever. But check the way this thing is right here. This is what blows my mind. Is this bottom of this crater, is this area here a shadow or is it an opening? I'll tell you why. Look right here. All right? Look at how smooth this is. Comes around, goes like this here, and comes around. It looks like there's things underneath this. See that? Looks to have a square piece and has a grayer piece right there. Of course, I'm not doing it really tight on the piece, but you can see that. Okay? We got something that looks like an L-shaped piece right here or multiple pieces, whatever. And look at all these other pieces here, like pipe work right here. Pipe work, different things. See the way that looks like you can see something that's doing this. And it looks like very, very large pipes coming down. Coming down like this. Another one's right on the side of it going down. What could that possibly be, guys? Seriously. As I said earlier, look at this here. We've got what looks like perfect design. To me, it looks design. Okay. Now, people might say, well, those are craters. I know, but they're so perfect that is it really craters? Again, look at this layout here. This area here looks to be higher than this piece down here. Okay, you guys see that? Take a close look at that because you can see like a little bit of a shadow right there. So it appears to be lower than this top here, this area here, right? Now I'm going to go to full enhancement. I'm going to check this out. So I try to dock in this whiter areas up to see if we can bring up more of this, right? Again, check this out, guys. Look at this line right here. This is crazy how they did this. They are 100% manipulating the whole photo. In fact, we'll desaturate this, get rid of any color that's in here. And again, we have this huge whatever that is, monolith and 
Whatever that may be, we have something that looks like it's overhanging right here. Something almost flat looking up in the air. Don't know what that is. That may be a combination of things, and it just gives you that illusion. We have this right here. Now, I haven't mentioned this area here, but check this out. Again, it looks like pipes going into the ground. Let's have a look at the raw. Okay, you can see it right there. All I do is I made them a little bit darker, but check out that it looks like they're doing this. Looks like they're going down into this oval slotted ground or part of the ground, right? You have to admit, not all of this looks natural. Now, I'm okay with craters and all this other crap. Now, look how congested it gets right in this area, right? Look at this. Crazy, crazy stuff. This right here. All right, we have one, two things coming down. Looks like a nice, perfect circle in the center, All right? Again, we have this pipe now coming this way, and it just so happens to have a hole in the wall of this crater. What could that be? We have what looks like pipes going in and out, like I said. Going down into the ground. Again, there it is right there. You can see it right there. And right here. Okay. Looks like another large one right here going into this one. And you can see what looks like this squared off area. Well, pretty squared off. I don't know if it's completely square, but... And you can see these things in the shade right here going like this. Check that out, guys. I don't see this as all natural. What I do see, though, I see what looks like mining. It looks like structural. And it looks like they might have utilized the lunar surface very well so that they blend in. We have what looks like I said, this, like this L-shaped piece here. And just look at, guys, like I said, this piece right here. Looks like these very large pipes going into the ground. That's just crazy to me. And like I said, I'm sure you could find more things, guys. I'm sure you can. If you just look at the, the shapes of these things inside here, again, we got this other area here. Right here. Again, we get this perfect oval, and I mean perfect. It doesn't get much more perfect than that. Again, we got these piping things, and it looks like it's coming right out into this area here. Now, this could mean two things to me. Either they fly in and out of that thing, which we have seen some amateur video before where it looks like things coming out of crater walls or out of craters. Is it possible that's an entrance or, or an exit, and that's just like a tunnel into the ground, or is it some kind of mining thing that's coming out and it's going spilling into this, this crater? I don't know. I don't know. All speculation. But check this out, too. I want you to take note of this. Notice how they did this right here. Remember what you see in the outer edge on the top of the photo? Look at this. How they went around. You can see the line where they've done it. Absolutely crazy. Look at the way they did this right here, going like this. And you can see it in the black and white now doing this. It almost looks like it has a 90-degree angle right there, guys. Look at this right here. If you Let's back this off. Right there. Check that out. Look at this. The whole thing. It's completely fuzzy inside this, and you can see the line of it right there going like that. Guys, just solid evidence that they're messing with these photos. It's as simple as that. Look at this. So, you know, people can deny it if they want to, but there it is right there in front of our face. Like I said, guys, jump on board this Mars Anomalies and Beyond on the odyssey.com. Again, you'll get the link to my page. Just like I said, you can simply sign up. You can follow the page. Like I said, up here in my banner, you can see it follow. Follow this channel. Guys, listen, you can go in here, you can support it in whatever way you want. You can customize whatever you want to do. Uh, it's pretty cool. But like I said, there's a couple reasons why I did this. One, at least if something happens with YouTube, we have another platform to be on, right? And the fact that we're being shadow banned, maybe we can grow this one pretty well too. And who knows, maybe we can just get the hell off of YouTube if they're just going to treat us like trash, right? Uh, either way, this is so to ensure that we'll keep our uh, videos alive for years to come being on more than one platform. Who knows, we may be doing more or two. We'll just see what happens in the future. Anyway, guys, what are you seeing in this moon photo? I'm seeing what looks like unnatural lunar anomalies. We, it looks like that giant shard. Call it what you will. This megalithic, whatever it is, standing straight up. And in fact, it's not even completely straight. You can see it kind of bending off to the left. What could that be? And I also showed you right there on the, the edge of the moon, you can see where they've, there's a gray 
And once you shop it, you can see that fine line where they manipulated this whole photo. So clearly, they are manipulating and centering these photos, even one as old as that. And guys, again, you can find it here on this page here. And again, these photos, you can see right here, publication date, January 1st, 1970. So this goes back quite some time. All this white here, that's completely manipulation. They did that for a reason because some of this stuff might have been a lot larger, something intelligently made, and we would have seen that. They don't want you to see that. That's the last thing they want. And you can see, once you go to this page, you go to a page 27 of 162 because there's 162 pages in here. You'll get the link here. Just click on right here on the right-hand side. It says next until you get to page 27. Again, guys, I'm seeing things that look unnatural in this photo. Now, I do see natural, you know, craters, uh, what looks like hills and uh, different parts of the moon. We get that, right? But it seems to me that whoever was on this moon uh, utilized its surface very well, maybe to blend in a lot better and not stand out so much. And then, of course, we've done photos where it looks like there's structures plain as day, uh, miles high. So I think they did a lot to utilize the surface and maybe to hide as much as they can so they're very discreet and you can almost not even see them at all. But these photos show things to me, like that oval, look like a giant stadium from space. You can see that perfect compared to all of the craters that are around. But we also see things that look like pipes coming up from the surface and going down under the surface. All kinds of crazy things. Guys, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think. Give me your thoughts. Please like and share. Always appreciate it. And guys, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so YouTube will share it. Anyway, guys, stay tuned. We got some more Perseverance photos coming up. And we're going to try to dig up some more moon for you guys. And like I said, just jump on the other site if you don't mind. Follow me up there. And this way here, we'll have it covered no matter what. Even if this channel disappeared tomorrow, we have another platform to be on. That's why I'm encouraging you guys to do that. Anyway, guys, again, drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what you think. Have yourselves a good evening, a good night, a good morning. And I'll see you guys soon. Peace, guys.